Hi guys, welcome back or hello if you're new. My name is Brianna Michaela and this is my YouTube. For all things nursing, I'll be talking about study tips, NCLEX prep, and daily vlogging. Today is going to be my Pharmacology Friday videos. So today we're going to be talking about amino glycosides. They are an antibiotic and the name itself, amino glycosides, means protein, sugar, and death. So if you remember that, you can remember how they work or their pharmacological indications. So they are bactericidal, which means they kill bacteria. And they do this by stopping the ribosomes inside the cells from making proteins. So essentially that bacteria cannot replicate any further. And a way to remember what amino glycosides are is by knowing their suffixes or the last couple of letters of each word. The suffixes are mycin and syn. So a way to remember the drugs that are in the amino glycoside classification is NATS, and that is G-N-A-T-S, gentamicin, neomycin, amicacin, tropomycin, and streptomycin. The indications for these drugs or what they are used for are for infections of the abdomen, the urinary tract, for bacteremia, and endocarditis. Some pertinent side effects that you need to know in regards to amino glycosides are that they cause loss of appetite or anorexia, and they also cause nausea and vomiting, which are actually pretty common in regards to side effects for a vast majority of medications. Proteinuria, increased blood, urine, nitrogen, or BUN, or BUN, which the normal ranges are five to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Increased creatinine, which the normal limits are between 0.6 and 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. Tingling of the hands and the feet, also known as peripheral neuropathy. Optic nerve damage, because remember again, it is neurotoxic, so it's a central nerve system, which affects all the cranial nerves, and they can cause convulsion. Some nursing considerations are that they are very highly toxic, which means they are ototoxic, nephrotoxic, and neurotoxic, which means that they are toxic to the ears, the kidneys, and the central nervous system. And they can also cause deafness in an infant. So some nursing actions or things for you as the nurse to look out for. You'll be monitoring for hearing loss or tinnitus, the ringing in the ear, because remember it's auto toxic, headache, nausea, vomiting, and vertigo. Because again, the ears are the balance receptor for the brain. So patient education. You want to really stress to our patients or your patient to finish the entire prescription of antibiotics, even if they feel better. Because we know that if you stop taking an antibiotic before it has really taken its course or you finish the course, is that you can create a super infection or a super bug in your system. Essentially, you are killing off all of the bacteria that are not resistant to that drug and you're promoting the overgrowth of bacteria that are resistant to that drug, like MRSA, methyl So interactions, which are important to know so that you're not mixing medication for a patient that can harm them in any way, decrease the effectiveness of the medication, increase the effectiveness of another medication, and the interactions that we need to know for aminoglycosides is penicillin. Do not mix aminoglycosides and penicillin in the same IV because penicillins actually inactivate the aminoglycoside. So if you're giving them penicillin and aminoglycoside for some kind of infection, you're booting that aminoglycoside out and they're not gonna get the full benefits of the aminoglycoside. And for the infections that aminoglycosides are indicated for, are pretty large, heavy duty infections. And we don't wanna mess with that at all for any reason. All right guys, that was it for Pharmacology Friday. Again, I am going to be posting just quick little videos every Friday in regards to pharmacology, going over classifications, certain drugs, especially drugs that are widely used. I'm going to try and kind of lump them in together so we're not all over the place. You could follow along quick and easy, no ways to remember them. I'm pretty heavy on the use of memnonics. Um, ways to remember things. I am big on that. I like to link things together, find ways, shorthand ways to remember long lists of things. And pharmacology is very heavy duty. There's a lot to it. There's over 15,000 different classifications. There's no way you're going to remember every single individual one. Knowing the classifications, knowing what they're used for, knowing important side effects and just important notes about them, what to look out for is very important. And if I can make that easier for you and in turn study again for myself because I'm still in school, I still have my CMS coming up, my exit exam, as well as I have to pass the NCLEX. So this is a good way for me to study as well. So I hope that I help you do well and I hope myself do well. 
So if you liked my video or if you thought it was helpful, you want to see more from me or you want me to discuss any other certain topics in regards to nursing, please let me know by leaving a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my video and I will see you guys Monday for my next nursing video.